six. The uh, eyes are 61, the nose are 59, clause 6 will stand part. The question now is that clause 7 stand part. And so the... Are, are you seeing the call? Am I? What am I doing? Uh, yes, uh, Mr Chairman. Oh, I'm Andrew Little. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, <coughs> sir, this is a, this is a very important out. piece of legislation. It requires a close consideration uh, before I, as I collect my thoughts to speak about this important topic. So we can be, we can take this lightheartedly, but this is actually very important for the 350,000 workers in this country who belong to unions, for the many thousands of workers who are in dispute at the moment with their employers, sometimes, on most occasions, totally unnecessarily. It is very pleasing to see that the port workers in the ports of Auckland today and their employer have reached a tentative settlement before an employment court judge by which they return to work, the employer will abandon its silly plans to contract out and disempower them and drive down their wages. That is a great victory. But those workers went through an extraordinary struggle to get to that point against all the opprobrium, the criticism, uh, the comments from the right comments from the mainstream editorials that have been uh, deeply opposed to what those workers have stood for. But they stood up for what they believed in. They stood up against an extraordinary power, extraordinarily powerful interests. And they did it. They voted for strike action. They saw it through. And they have defeated one of the most iniquitous and insidious attacks on workers' rights. And once again, the waterside workers of this country have broken through and have set an example for the rest of the New Zealand workforce and hold their banner high. And they do that because they are free to do that. They are free to belong to their union. They are free to make their decisions and their choices. And they have done that. And they have achieved justice. And I'm confident they will achieve the ultimate end. And they will keep those jobs. And they will be well-paid jobs. They will be efficient jobs. It will be an efficient and effective and flexible workforce as they have at the moment, but most importantly, they will retain their dignity and their pride. And that is what every worker wants. It's actually what order, every employer order, order. wants. Um, we're debating Clause 6, which has the title, The Meaning of Strike. And I just, the member can make the sort of comments he's making, but he has to tie them into the meaning of Clause 6. This is not a, a, an open debate. The member should be debating clause six. Andrew Little. A point of order, Simon the Con. Uh, seven we're looking at at the moment. Sir. Sorry, clause seven. I, I do apologise. I thought it was seven. Uh, well, it's my mistake. Point of order, sir. I thought, we were, I thought I was debating clause seven. My comments were completely relevant to clause seven. Yeah. <laughs> having said that, having, because we, we, we on the side of the House Thank are you. sitting in jubilation and elation because it has been a great day for the working people of New Zealand, because the most, the most brutal struggle for working people has seen the workers victorious. They stood united, they remain undefeated. That's why it's easy to get confused between six and seven. I am at sixes and sevens tonight, sir. That is indisputable. But now we're focused on seven, and we're very clear about what it is, and it's, uh, and it's very important, but it, d it demonstrates. Today demonstrates above all the importance of workers who are free to make their choice and, most importantly, free to run their union as they see fit. And they make their decisions. That's what voluntary unionism is about. It is a very powerful form. That's why National Party governments hate it, because they hate working people taking control of their situation. They hate the idea that when working people get together, that they, they form their own wisdom and sometimes they stand up. And so, and so, voluntary unions, the, the important thing about voluntary unions is that workers are free to come and go, and the port workers have stayed, they've stuck at it, and they've stuck with their union, they've stuck with each other, and that's what it's about. That's why, that's why this clause is so unnecessary. That's why we just do not need it. You just do not need to add compliance requirement upon compliance requirement for there to be a secret ballot. 
Ask those workers how they feel about the decisions they took. Ask them how they feel about their union. They're sticking together. They are very proud. Then go and ask the meat workers who are fighting an even more brutal struggle against tallies. Tallies totally unnecessarily. After barely 10 hours of negotiations, lock those workers out. And, uh, Honourable Tohenere. Uh, Mr Chair, I just want to...